Hello Leo. This is going to be your October monthly reading, okay? As usual, we light the Palo Santo to cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. If you're still in September, welcome to the future. I hope you're having a lovely September. And if you're in October, welcome to the present. I don't know where you live in the world, but I'm in New York and we're definitely getting right into fall. It's beautiful. We cleanse the space for Leo. Cleanse the space for Leo. Okay, let's begin. So Alethea is our first card, and it has to do with truth, okay? I'm just going to reference one thing. We talked about something like this yesterday in Cancer's reading. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the um, Ace of Swords pop out today, but we'll see. Messages from Leo, October. So let's just talk about Aletheia first. So Aletheia is from the Archetypal deck by Kim Kranz, okay? And Aletheia and truth has to do with words unsaid, okay, um, from you or for, from other people, right? And there's something about the vibration of truth, okay? So even if the truth hurts, you know when you've been holding something back for a while and you finally say it out loud and the energy in your body, it's like you feel like you took a deep breath, right? <sighs> Can't believe I just said that. Can't believe I just said that. And vice versa, when you're hearing from someone else the truth, their voice changes a little bit, okay? So this month, you're going to be looking out for ways in which you're taking um a look at things based on like how someone's saying it and how you're saying it and really feeling this is going to be a month of honesty and a month of truth okay you also have the eagle spirit here all right the eagle spirit has to do with taking a higher perspective on things in order to um really be as expansive as possible, okay? So the eagle, especially in this picture, 
is really focusing on something in the center, okay? That focus in the middle is this bright energy that the eagle is kind of zoning in on. So there definitely is something this month that you're gonna be zoning in on that's gonna give you a higher perspective. And truth can do that to us as well, right? Truth can give us an entirely new perspective that we weren't even thinking about before, okay? for cancer excuse me leo <laughs> messages for leo october So with this truth, <clears throat> this truth is going to really give you a much larger perspective on life, okay? We have the world card upright, all right? Now the world card has to do with expansion and and um, traveling and widening our mindsets, okay? This is really um, um, us coming into a position of really, all I can say is just expansion and novelty and freshness and newness, okay? So something about this, this truth is gonna make you feel a little bit sad okay with the five of cups here upright all right but as we always say with the five of cups don't forget that you still have two cups behind you okay your three cups may have spilled but you have two over here those cups were supposed to spill you have to trust and have faith that those cups were supposed to spill these cups were supposed to stay full all right Try not to get too sad this month regarding this truth that's going to come out, okay? The Queen of Swords in reverse, all right? This can tell us that depending on this truth that's coming out, okay, it might make you start to feel mm, short, harsh, irritated, okay? Cold. Don't let this truth make you feel that way, okay? For Leo, what is this truth that is going to be coming out? There's something that's not going to be moving forward, okay? You have the chariot in reverse with the fool in reverse. So you're not going to have any choice, okay? But to accept the fact that you're not going to be able to move forward with a certain situation, 
okay? And you may have to put your efforts in a different place with the Page of Pentacles up right here, okay? A lot of yellow energy coming through right now. So this has to do with our solar plexus chakra, which is all about our inner sun. And the eagle spirit here, you know, that's a big sun that he's really holding on to, okay? Going into. So we liken that circle sun in the middle of the eagle card to be what you really want to focus on with all of that yellow emanating, okay? So even though you're needing to move on, all right, and take a new venture, okay? Um, you wanna make sure you have a lot of confidence when you're doing it, okay? So um, keep lemons in your uh, kitchen, right? A bowl of lemons that you can use so they don't go to waste, right? But just being near the color yellow can infuse confidence. I don't know if you're okay with painting your nails yellow or you know, getting the yellow um, glasses covers, right? Or a yellow scarf or a yellow ring or something as simple as a yellow pendant somewhere or maybe changing some things in your house to be yellow. You know, my shower curtain is yellow because I love yellow and it makes me feel really bright and happy, but definitely gonna need some confidence because something that you thought that was gonna move forward is not gonna move forward and you're not gonna have any choice here but to accept the outcome that's happening and move on to something new, okay? Whoa. You have the Knight of Wands in reverse with the Hanged Man upright and the Strength upright, okay? Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. There's a lot of people in this reading right now, okay? There's a lot of people in this reading. Okay, we're seeing a lot of pages, we're seeing a lot of kings, I'm seeing a lot of queens. So you're either working with a lot of people or this is family right now. I'll be honest, I am picking up a little bit of a family energy here, okay? Um, and now I think there's someone in your life that is pretty um, egotistical, okay? They, they are not in king energy, so they're still like a youthful, more of a youthful energy, but more of an immature, cocky, egotistical energy, okay? I don't know who this is for your life, I take it as it resonates, okay? But this person is really thinking that they're doing well, but they're not, all right? They have the nine of pentacles in reverse so this person might be putting on a little bit of a show so don't let this person affect you this month okay um don't let this person affect you because they don't really have as much going on as they're kind of putting off okay they might be adorning themselves with really nice clothes or drinking nice coffee or wearing a nice watch or something like that or but, um, but really the abundance is not there at all. It's really just a show, okay? This month you're being asked to be as patient as possible and as strong as possible, okay? Because the situation that's gonna come up that's, that's not going to um, uh, end up moving forward is gonna require you to be very patient and be strong, okay? Um, yeah, just don't forget to be patient and strong through this process this month, okay? 
this queen of wands energy okay could potentially be a mother figure here i'm getting a lot of motherly energy from this this could even be your brother or something that's having this cocky energy or a co-worker that has cocky energy or one of your your friends i don't know um but the mother in this situation is definitely going to be supportive of you uh this month she the queen of wands is someone who is a, a beautiful example of how to be in control of your passions um, while still remaining poised and elegant and at the same time really um, humble. There's a humble energy here, okay? I don't um, know why all of these kind of energies of family are coming up, but they just are. So let me know in the comments how this resonates for you, okay? If I can get more information on this truth. Page of Cups in reverse is honestly like a crush energy, okay? With the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck over here, it is in reverse. So I'm going to be honest, there might be, yeah, and then we have the King of Cups in reverse. There might be someone that you thought was going to come towards you in a romantic way and um, it's not going to work out the way that you thought it was going to work out okay they're not the person that you thought that they were all right the page of cups in reverse is someone who's emotionally immature all right emotionally immature um the king of cups is someone who's emotionally unavailable and yeah i just don't want you to get your hopes up regarding love this month because this person that you maybe have had your eye on for a little while is not someone that I would recommend putting too much energy into, okay? It looks like it is someone that you work with because we do have the Three of Pentacles here, okay? We do have the Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse um, with the Seven of Wands upright. Okay. You're not going to have any choice this month. Two of Swords in reverse. You're going to have to defend yourself in some way this month. Okay. You're going to have to speak your truth. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. Um, it could be regarding this person. All right. And this person honestly could be trying to come towards you and you reject them because you see that they're full of it and not really um, worthy of your time, okay? And, or maybe they're coming at you in a way where they're um, too emotional up front and really like spilling everything out right away, okay? A pseudo love bombing, if you will, all right? Now, you're not going to have any choice but to stand up for yourself and defend yourself here, okay? Three of Wands in, re in reverse is choosing um, to change course from where you thought that you were going to be going this month, all right? More information for Leo, October. Okay. 
Okay, so you have the Queen of Cups here and she is um, upright, which is beautiful. And the Queen of Cups upright with the Six of Pentacles upright. So you're actually someone who is extremely giving, okay? You're someone who is very um, giving and emotionally available and confident and sensitive in the best ways. And you're very giving and nurturing, okay? So this is the kind of person that you want to match back. And anything that is not of that kind of vibration should not be introduced into your life this month, okay? You have the Nine of Swords and it is in reverse, which means that any sleepless nights that you've been having regarding this situation, okay? Um, and again, this is definitely not someone that you're in a relationship with here, okay? At all. This is just, um, this is not a commitment that you have in your life right now, okay? This is just, I just want you to be aware of that, okay? Any um, sleepless nights that you have had, any uh, rumination, any any really, really negative thinking that you've been having is going to be going away this month. And you're going to be feeling like you can tap into your emotions again and be emotionally available and, and start to give right to other people, even though you never stopped giving. But um, something made you feel really weird. I'm just feeling really weird right now. Okay, there's someone's going to make you feel weird this month and just make sure that you're standing up for yourself. Okay, and um, the king of cups with the in reverse with the page of cups in reverse it does make me feel like this is a little bit of a, a romantic situation. Okay, and not just like a boss or something like that. But again, it could be someone that you had a crush on that's just making you feel very weird this month. All right, but don't lose confidence because you do have all of the beautiful qualities of someone that anybody would want in a partner okay all right queen of cups six of pentacles nine of swords in reverse these are beautiful energies okay now the page of cups did come up again in reverse okay so this is definitely clarifying that there is going to be someone coming towards you that I'm just giving you a little bit of a warning about, okay? They are going to act like they have um, like emotional availability, but you're going to see right through them and know that they don't. And um, if you, for some reason, do begin to engage with this person, just know that you're probably going to leave the situation feeling like... A little gross to be honest all right but if you um either way you have the sun here all right and you have the knight of pentacles so you have it going on this month all right you are the sun you are confident you are beaming you are absolutely gorgeous and you do um have a lot going for you in your life right now and your life is going the way that you want it to go okay and it's going to continue going the way that you want it to go so just because there's a little bump in the road and there's a truth here coming out okay that might not make you feel so great and might not give you any choice but to move away from something um and you might even feel like you look a little foolish with the fool in, in reverse right you might feel like you look a little silly okay to be honest it might make you feel bad but you are the sun this is your energy, okay? Don't lose sight of where you're going to be going and where you even are right now. You might not even see how gorgeous and bright and illuminated that you are and how much you have going for you, okay? That feels really good. That feels very good. You do have the Empress in reverse, okay? So just pay attention to areas in which, because again, this is still the Empress card, so you're still Empress and Queen energy, all right? This is all really good boss energy, okay? Just don't forget that even though this person may have made you feel this way, 
that you shouldn't still be giving and loving and nurturing and don't let this one bad egg of a person kind of get you down, all right? Because you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, you are nurturing, you're loving, you're giving, and you're going places, okay? You're going places and this page of wands, all right, that's coming in here, you know, maybe even like trying to move in on you quickly, like just sweep you off your, no, we're not dealing with that. Nope. All right, we have the seven of, we have the, what do we have going on over here? Okay, so the hermit in reverse. Maybe you have been, you know, kind of on your own for a little while or hermiting, not going out with friends a lot. This is gonna be a month more. Maybe you wanna start going out a little bit, right? Putting some makeup on, putting a cute outfit on, strutting your stuff around the town. Um, you know, if you want, maybe you could even go on like an online dating site if you're into online dating, right? This is just putting ourselves out there a little bit more, okay? Again, you do have the seven of wands. So I think even though you are going to be potentially getting out there more, you really wanna make sure, again, this person's like fighting them off with a stick, okay? So just because people come in towards you doesn't mean they're the one for you, all right? Don't give it to just anybody. And I'm not even talking about that, right? I just mean your heart, right? Your heart is very important and your heart should be God, if I protected my heart when I was 20, I would be in a completely different place. Not that I'm not super happy with where I am and I trust in God and I know that, but I wouldn't have given half the men that I've given a chance with a chance, okay? And I don't know if you're a woman or a man, whatever you are, non-binary, right? Um, protect your heart no matter what, okay? Because there's a lot of people that don't deserve it. You have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So there, I'll go with the Six of Cups first here, okay? Because that did come out first. Um, so the Six of Cups in reverse can be even you also battling off uh, instances that have happened in the past, okay? That are causing you some nostalgia. I should have done this. I could have done this. Why didn't I do this? And this is recent past or this is a long time past, right? Um, why didn't I do that? I should have done this. I could have prevented this. The universe works in very mysterious ways and you can't always control what happens, okay? So try not to worry too much about what you could have done to make things change. Um, and yeah, this can even talk about like, oh, things were so much easier when I was younger or things were so much easier when this was going on. So try not to do too much of that. You know, it doesn't really help that much. But learn from me from, I don't even wanna say your mistakes, I mean, we all do make mistakes at times, but I don't believe in mistakes per se because they guide us to where we're going next. You know, I, I heavily trust in the divine. So I don't really buy into the whole, I made a mistake. You acted from where you thought you should be acting at that time. And now you are where you are, okay? So you have the nine of cups and you have the ace of pentacles. So this is fulfillment, wish fulfillment, okay? A wish come true, all right? And this has to do with the Ace of Pentacles. So there could be some new, dare I say, business venture, okay? Um, some new um, exciting prospect coming forward, all right? So we'll pull one more card after this, but this is a great way to end the reading with the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles upright, okay? This is really you getting everything you wanted. And to be honest, the energy now feels so fresh and clear and vibrant and it has a very warm and confident energy to it so i do believe you are going to be ending this month feeling very confident about yourself knowing what you want knowing where you're going and really taking the steps towards this new beginning that's going to be coming through okay so i always use the unfurling goddess deck at the end to pull one final card to kind of seal it off
What if I exist for optimism? Is divine timing, timing optimism? I would say so. Solar plexus chakra. What did we talk about? The solar plexus is something you need to be meditating on this month, okay? Surrender, universal love facing the sun. Let us release any fear of judgment and imaginary wrongs. Just talked about this. Let us embrace optimism as we cre each create new individual paths ahead. Let us contemplate how we can surrender more to our mystical self. Let us embrace and embody the mystical aspects of true self day by day. Let us understand that another cannot be the embodiment of our truth. That person's opinion of you does not control your worth at all. Let us find the optimism to be as we truly are, knowing our unique design is incredibly purposeful and invaluable to the whole. The dragonfly dreams in all nine directions. Just like the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. You got a lot of nines, okay? Got a lot of nines in this reading, so... I would also look up the number nine and how that can have significance for you this month. Okay, Leo, this was beautiful and ended on a very nice note, okay? I will see you in November. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.